Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to this BK Academy tutorial video on the 12 o'clock pull. I'm going to give you some tips here of how you can make your adjustments as accurate as possible when you're lining up your wind arrow along the direction uh, that you want to adjust in. This is part of uh, a, a long series on the channel, Release Academy tutorial videos uh, as and when I can about different elements of the game. Now they're all on a playlist on the channel homepage. If you haven't checked out the rest of them, go ahead and have a look. Now, before we delve into this subject matter, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. That is totally free to do so. Now, as I said in the introduction, this one is going to talk about 12 o'clock pull. Now, we're going to ignore any 11.59 or any 12.01 if that's a little bit too complicated for you or you're not looking to imp uh, add that into your game, um, then that doesn't matter you can still benefit a lot from this tutorial and this will, will help you whether you're playing in tournaments or tour play or even just friendlies or checkpoint challenge. Any game mode, as long as you're adjusting for the wind, uh, using the ring system when you're zooming in and adjusting your rings, then this is going to help you. Now, of course, to adjust accurately, we're lining up our wind arrow to point true north and we're zooming in on our target to make sure that the direction we are adjusting in is as accurate as possible to the degree uh, the same as the wind. Because obviously if you're adjusting on a different line, you're not going to really compensate properly for the effect of the wind. Now, of course, to do that, we want that wind arrow to point absolutely vertically north. And you can see here I've got a screenshot which is kind of as near as I can get it from my video replay of that wind arrow pointing true north. Now, however, as we know in the game, it isn't as simple as that. So let's have a look at an example here. I'm gonna put a video up on screen of what the wind arrow does, because we know it flickers around a bit. It doesn't stay in one uh, position. Now you can see I am moving the camera here. You'll see the background move, but I'm leaving it in one place here. And I'm trying to get this wind arrow to be basically pointing vertically north. So straight up in between the I and the N, but as you can see, it's flickering around a bit. It's moving left, it's moving right. It never stays still. So what I've got here is a method that's been around in the game for a while. I've heard a couple of content creators and streamers talk about it. There's also a couple of videos on YouTube. So if you want to get another opinion or a different version of this tutorial, then search around. I'm going to present what I'm looking for. And it's a very, very easy trick. And once you spot it, this will really help you line up that wind arrow very quickly indeed. Now, what I'm going to do to help here is I'm going to put a center line up on the screen. And that's what I'm visualizing. I want that right down the middle of the arrow with enough of the arrow either side, even though it's going to flicker. So let's have a look at that video again. And I'm looking at the tip of the arrow there. And you can see that green kind of pad, uh, kind of fake grass thing underneath. It's got four quarters there. So I'm looking at this visually with that center line going right down the middle of it, splitting it in half. Some people look at the shadow of the arrow. Some people look at the arrow itself. Some people look at the tip of the arrow and where it points on the word wind. But I'm just putting that out there as some examples. You go with whatever's best for you and what you find is best how your eye sees it because we've all got a different pair of eyes. But that's the center line I'm looking. So whether you're looking at the shadow, the text or the arrow, whatever, pick one that works for you and stick with it. Now, I want to have this wind arrow going uh, pretty much vertically. Now, the trick that I'm gonna teach you here is what I call the three left, three right pattern. And this is a pattern that you will be able to see on the wind arrow. It will become more apparent at different wind speeds because the higher wind, the more the arrow flickers. And just to demonstrate this and purely uh, for demonstrative purposes, I've got a video here of something I hope you'll never see in the game. And that's a 30 mile per hour wind. And you can see that arrow is uh, flickering around there like nobody's business. And it's very tough to find the pattern there, but I'm just throwing that out there, obviously to say that the higher wind that you have, the more that that arrow is gonna bounce around. But regardless of the wind speed, it still uses the same pattern. Right on the other end of the spectrum, here's a one mile per hour wind. So you can see it's a very slow movement, 
But still, that wind arrow, it's not going to be vertical all the time. It's bouncing a bit to the left and the right now. The method I use, like I say, three left, three right. So to get a true 12 o'clock pull, I'm looking for the tip of that arrow to bounce three times on the left of the vertical line and three times on the right. Now, it's not left, right, left, right, left, right. If you've got it centred properly, it will do three bounces on the left, followed by three on the right. Then three left, three right, three left, three right. And that's what I'm looking at when I'm lining up my rings to adjust. Now, the best possible uh, example I've got here is actually a weird wind strength, 12.8. And I found this one was a good one to demonstrate it. So look at that centre line and look at the tip of the arrow. You'll see here it's settled now the way I've got the screen. And I'll try and count along there. You see left, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, right, right. It's very hard to kind of comment on it as it's happening. But just look at the tip of the arrow. I leave this on for quite some time. And you'll see there three bounces to the left, three to the right. I'm going to put that on once more. So you can see, it takes me a while to find that position. Uh, I'll try once again to narrate this as we go. So obviously that one is gonna be way to the right. Then I'm moving it, it's still bouncing uh, more to the left now than the right, so that's nowhere near 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna adjust the camera again. Now it's about four or five bounces to the right and how here is where I find the true 12 o'clock. So we've got three to the left, three to the right. So I'm looking at three bounces either side of that central line. Now I'm going to slow this one down so you've got another example. But regardless of the wind strength and therefore the speed of that arrow flickering, that is what I am looking at. And once you get your eyes used to kind of locking in on this and kind of identifying the way that arrow bounces around, I guarantee you this will be a quicker way for you to quickly orient your uh, camera uh, when you're turning the screen ready to adjust, nailing this down in your mind and getting used to the pattern of that arrow will really help you be accurate because then you know you're going to uh, adjust along the direction of the wind. Now, of course, you still need to actually put your finger on the screen and drag down in a straight line. Obviously, if you're not dragging down in a vertical line, this isn't going to help you that much. But there are, of course, grid lines and things that can help you with that and with everything in the game. Practice does indeed make perfect. So I'm looking at that tip of that arrow bouncing three times on the left, three times on the right. Have a look at it. Get some replays up of your gameplay. Doesn't matter what game mode it is. Like I said, that wind arrow is behaving the same way regardless of the game mode. Find some different wind strengths. Put some different wind resistance balls on. Go into different tour play. Get used to the way this arrow behaves with different speeds and get used to spotting that pattern. Like I said, I call it the three left and three right method. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments section how you're finding it and whether you can spot it easily. Hopefully this tip and this trick will help a lot of you get a brilliantly accurate or at least a more accurate adjust when you are playing the ring system in the game. Thank you for watching this Academy tutorial. Don't forget to check the rest of them out on the channel. Plenty up there to help you, including rings from min and uh, reference checks using the slider. Doesn't matter what game you're playing or what game mode you're playing, regardless of your level, there's stuff there to help you. So I hope it helps. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.